turn off lounge lights. All right, turning four lights off. Yo, what's up guys? And hope you're all keeping well and you've had a good new year. So tonight I'm going to be uh, testing out the smart control features of this TV. Um, like home automation stuff. Um, the two main things I'm going to concentrate on are the TV control in the Hue lighting system and also the control of the Hive active heating. So, first thing we need to do is get the remote control and you've got your, I'll get it a bit of light there, your microphone button there which you just hold down and you speak uh, the command to it, which I will now do. Turn on lounge lights. And as you can see, because nothing is set up, it is wanting me to set up the Google Assistant. So I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And here is saying to get the full experience, you need to set it up um, on your phone as well. I'm going to say set up later, but I'll try it again now. If I say turn on lounge lights, it will now do this. Search results for turn on lounge lights. That ain't what I wanted it to do. Right, we'll try again. Turn off lights. Your assistant needs permission to help you with that. Right, so it's now prompting me to go to that web address there. So I will now move over to me iPad. So to save you guys a bit of time, um, instead of going to the web address, what you can do on Android or iOS, just search for Google Assistant in your app store. And there it is. You just simply want to download that one. Okay, so we're all downloading now. I'm going to go to open. And if you haven't got an account, I'm guessing you're going to have to set one up. I already have. So I'm just going to click on my account, press continue, and agree to the terms and conditions. And now it's going to come up saying looking for devices. I'll run that animation for a bit while it searches. With any luck, we should find something in a minute. Looks like it's found something. There we go. Device found. So what we have to do now is press next. And it comes up says saying, do you see the code? And on your TV, it should come up the same code. So we're gonna go back and say yes. And then it will come up with, allow this device to use your Google Assistant and we are going to agree to that and now it's going to connect to device and i uh, just missed it on the tv but it just came up saying you're signed in and it's now going to ask for some personal details which i'll just quickly fill out so now i've done that it's just asking me to agree to a few more terms and conditions to do with search results, it says your device is now set up. So now you can start asking it, um, you know, sort of stupid questions if you want, like, um, you know, how long a certain river is or how far away is the moon, uh, that sort of stuff, you know, usual sort of Google Assistant things. 
but it also goes on about saying how you can control you your uh, smart devices you know turn on the lights the heat and so on and so forth so we're uh, continue on with that okay now i'm going to go to the icon in the top right corner which is for my account then i'm going to go to assistant the top here and then home control now because i've already had a fiddle around with this my hue lights are already on there but it's the same for anything else that you're doing on here so i'm gonna do the hive heating but it's exactly the same way of doing it for the hue so you go to the bottom right and press plus this will bring up all the smart home devices that you can choose from the ones that are already linked are at the top you can see my hue one there so if i go up here and then type in for hive that brings up the hive heating one i'm going to click on that and now it's going to tell me to log in which i will quickly do now right so i've just logged in and it's straight away it's paired up and there it is there it says hive zone one if i click on that I'm actually going to, um, how is it I edit it? There we go, sorry. So I'm going to change it from zone one and call it Hive Heating. Press OK on that. There we go, that's what that changed. So if I go back now to the TV and get the remote with any luck, set hive heating to 22 degrees. There we go. Setting hive heating to 22 degrees. Let's turn the volume up here. I've got it turned down a bit. And I'll just show you on there. There we go, 22 degrees. What I'll do now, I'll turn it off. Turn off hive heating. Right, so that's it, it's turning it off. We go back out to the thermostat. There we go, it's off. Right, so let's try some of the lighting. Set lounge lights to blue. There we go. Sorry I couldn't show you the full setup of the lighting, like I said. I had a fiddle with it earlier and I'm guessing it's remembered it from previously but as I said it's simple enough to do you just go to the plus device and you just find the uh, the, the hue app on there and click on that just like I did with the hive and it should sort itself out and it should pair up once you've logged in and it's as simple as then just saying the commands as long as it's you're giving it the correct commands you know for the the room it is you know by saying lounge for instance um just show you a few more things so dim lounge lights there we go and turn off lounge lights there we go it turned off as well and just one more time Turn on lounge lights. This is the definition for the newest. Sure, turning three lights on. I think that's great. And I'll just show you one more time just for the fun of it. There we go. 
hive heating is off and back on here set hive heating to 20 degrees Setting the high heating to 20 degrees. Come back out here. Yeah? With any luck. Here we go. 20 degrees. How cool is that? I think it's uh it's great when you've got it set up, you know, you've got it all on the uh, one remote there. Um sorry if it's been a bit flaky this video. Um could have probably done it a bit better, but as you guys probably know, I'm new to all this, so I'm trying my best. Um, sort of, especially with these sort of things, this can be a bit hit and miss trying to set them up. Luckily, it's not been too bad. Just that sort of little bit of a glitch where it was already set up for me, you lights. Um, but yeah, if you've liked this video, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription if you already haven't. And hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.